Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. I've got a humongous grocery haul for you guys. We just moved into our new house, so we were out of a ton of stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're doing a grocery haul. I had some of her treats out here, but I have no self-control. She's just so darn cute that I opened them, so I didn't even bother putting them in here. But anyway, um, I have a humongous uh, move-in grocery haul for you guys. Um, half of it is from, well not half, like a good bit of it is from Walmart and a good bit is from Harris Teeter. I spent $174 at Walmart, but um, that had a lot of like, um, like trash bags and like stuff that was like more expensive in there. And um, I did also have a thing of paper towels that I was so excited to get, but then they just didn't put it in my trunk and I guess, you know, they tell you not to get out of your car when you're at the pickup, so... I didn't notice, so I'm gonna have to go back for that. But um, I'll be doing this is from Walmart, and then I have another one from Harris Teeter that I'll put out for you guys. Um, I gotta go pick that up later on today, but I thought I would just film all this before I have to put it away. All right, so starting over here, um, I got some bagels for Josh. I got this International Delight coffee creamer. I don't make coffee by myself at my house very often, but I am going to try to be better at that. Um, so. I did get some um, International Delight coffee creamer. I don't usually get the big one, but I got the small one and they subbed it out for the big one because they were out of the small one. Um, I got some strawberries, I got some eggs, some gum, um, some raisins, some, um, what is this, shampoo and conditioner. I got a pan because I bought some super cool brownie mix, um, so I'm gonna just use those for that. I got some shake and bake. I got um, cream cheese spread. Coincidentally enough, speaking of the hand, um, coincidentally enough, if you guys get the bagels at uh, Starbucks ever, this tastes just like Starbucks cream cheese. It is so, so good. I can't believe it. And it's only the great value brand. Uh, brand. The um, Philadelphia brand does not taste the same. So um, if you love the cream cheese that they serve you with Starbucks bagels, this tastes exactly the same. Um, I got some beef jerky, coleslaw mix, regular, Philadelphia um, cream cheese pack thing to pack. I got some um, fruit cups. I got the best um, salsa chips, salsa chips. <laughs> I got the best tortilla chips in the world. These are the cantina style ones. I love them. I got a thing of trash bags. I got the bigger one, but they were out, so they just gave me two of these guys. I got some Jif to go for Josh. Also, I'm still working from home. I go in once in a while when we have like super important things to do. But Josh has uh, been called back to work, so um, I just got some like snacky things for him. I got some shaky cheese. I got some um, pineapple. I got these guys. I'm like literally stretching myself. I have the shortest arms on earth. Um, I got these caramel flavored or caramel vanilla cream um, K cups from a Keurig. So that should be good. I love caramel like flavored anything. <laughs> so. Um, I got some bananas um, back there as well. I got some of this honey teriyaki marinade. This stuff is so good. I got some salsa, two things of salsa. One for like dipping and then one for recipes. And then I got um, a thing of cheese. I've never tried this cheese. I got the uh, Tostitos brand, but they were out so they gave me that. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, I got some tomatoes. Some heavy whipping cream, some sour cream. I got two things of the fresh pulled garlic. Number one, because I don't know if it's just like an error on my end, but on my, um, like when I buy this online for through Walmart, it's only 62 cents, which is crazy because usually it's like 3.49 in the store. So I got two of them and then one of them I'm gonna um, make into my own like pre-chopped garlic. And I've done that before in a meal prep video, but I could probably show you guys how to do that again. I got, um, what are these, petite baby carrots. I got lemons and I got limes. I got ketchup. I got paper bowls back there. And I got some Q-tips. I got some dog food for Minnie. So um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Minnie has a really intense underbite. And so this seems to be the only food that she can really eat without having a lot of trouble. And I don't know if any of you have dogs with underbites at all or that have like trouble eating like large like pebble food. But this is the best we could find for her. I would like to find her something better and like more, you know, that's good for her. <clears throat> so if you guys have any suggestions, that would be awesome. But anyway, um, so I got some spinach back there. I got these super fun, <laughs> super fun, fun fitty brownies. 
Um, but this is super cool because it's Blondie mix, so I'm super excited about that. I got some tortellini. I got um, yellow, red, and orange pepper, red onion, green onions, a green pepper, some broccoli, some asparagus, a cucumber, this um, couscous thing. I've never seen that before, so I wanted to try it. I got some oranges. I don't know if I said ketchup or not. And then um, I think I said broccoli, but if I didn't, broccoli. And then I got these little Snyder's pretzel pieces. These things are awesome. And then I got these two yogurts. They're the Gushers yogurts. I've never seen these in my life. <laughs> they low-key look kind of scary because they sit with burst in beads and I just don't know how that's gonna feel in my mouth. But one of my best friends is coming over tomorrow for a girl's day. So I was like, we're trying these together. Um, I don't know how they're gonna be, but I guess we'll see. And then the last thing I got, um, so we just got these two big guys and we should be good for quite a while off of these. All right guys, so I am back with my little Harris Teeter haul um, and a little bit of Walmart because I did go back and get my um, paper towels because they just had forgotten them. And I th it just shows how much I pay attention and I really should because I was missing some other stuff too. So um, I got this little guy, a uh, little, what is this, a blanket? It's like a plush blanket. Oh, I don't want to get it on the chicken. <laughs> um, it's a plush blanket. It's a twin size, so it's super big. And it was only $10, which is like cheaper than like most of their throw blankets. And it's the same kind of like soft um, material. So I was super into that. Um, so yeah, I had picked that up and I'm glad that I did. Um, the pillows on our new couch are uh, navy blue. So this will go very well just draped over because it's a huge sectional. So this will look really good. Like I said, I got my paper towels. I also had gotten a thing of Advil liquid gels, and I usually just get the 48 pack of forks for Josh uh, to bring to work, but they were out, so they gave me the 100 pack, or the 100 count. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that's just what was from Walmart. Everything else is from Harris Teeter. So starting over here, I got some Splenda. I got um, some barbecue sauce. I've got the um, onion like soup mix or onion dip mix. I got some Baby Bell cheeses. I got um, some chicken tenderloins. I got three things of shredded cheese. I got um, some dill relish, um, some, what is that, chicken broth, and I got some regular ranch. And Josh has been asking me to um, mix his ranch with a little bit of chipotle sauce, like when we have like stuff that we're dipping or whatever. So I saw this and I was like, oh, okay, cool, chipotle ranch. So I picked that up. And then I got this sub sauce. So um, yeah, it's gonna be super awesome to have on our sandwiches. I'm super excited to try this. I also got some rice and some um, lettuce mix. I was able to get my hands on some stew beef. I don't know what was happening at the store. Literally everything was labeled pot roast, so I'm not sure. But I got some um, chopped up pot roast slash stew beef. And then I also got like a big one. I could probably think I'm gonna cut that in half because usually it's just Josh and I and my mom um, has gone up to Vermont and usually that's who we would have um, giving extra food to. So, um, yeah. And then, this was also labeled pot roast, but they're short ribs. And look at that price, I can't believe it. I was dying, I was like, oh my gosh. So I got three packs of that. Um, as you can see, my trying not to go to Starbucks is going really well. Um, but it's not my fault, it's literally inside Harris Teeter. There's nothing I could do. So, um, but this was a fantastic price, especially with the prices of beef these days. I was so excited, so. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but I'm going to use them, and I'm super excited to have found them given the beef shortage situation. So that is it, everybody, for my grocery haul for moving in. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you how I prepped a little bit of um, produce. 
Um, I just had some like watermelon and pineapple and strawberries that I cut up um, for you guys. Part of the strawberries were not very good, which was kind of disheartening, but that's okay. I'll just buy some more. Um, I just wanted to show you um, what we feel like is going to be our um, meal plan this week. This is what I'm hoping is going to be our uh, meal plan. So uh, Monday, uh, creamy tomato basil pasta. I'm gonna just make that like a meatless meal. And then Tuesday, I want to do barbecue chicken salad. Wednesday, I want to do beef tips with some of that sea beef that I bought. Um, Thursday, uh, we're going to my sister's, but I'm gonna go ahead and make those blondies for everybody. And then on Friday, I wanted to do chicken alfredo. I'm not here yet <laughs> in my adult life where I plan my weekend meals. Um, but I, I will try to get better at that. But yeah, that is just what our meal plan is going to be for this week. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for all of y'all hanging in there with me during this move. You guys have all been wonderful. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. I hope you guys have a blessed and awesome weekend. Happy 4th of July, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!